Alright, get some more eggs on it. I just am afraid it's gonna be like icy underneath the snow. I don't know. I mean, that's what it is on the roads, but. I think it might, yeah, we'll, we'll find out. Yeah, that's where spikes would be perfectly fine anyway. You wouldn't care if it was icy or what. It would be like, oh, I know. awesome. Yeah, it would be just as good. <laughs> yeah. My cousin Ruben and I went for a quick ride at the local trails we call Ledgeview. I didn't realize how much snow was gonna be at the top of this mountain. Riding in the snow can be pretty fun. I had a great time at Vedder Mountain in the snow a couple months ago, but I think the key is that there was really only about one to two inches of snow at that point. Oh man. It's getting deep. <sighs> yeah. Getting to the higher areas of Ledgeview here, it was around five or even six inches of snow in some parts. It's so much extra work in the snow. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna take a bit of air out of my tires as well. Let's do it. Yeah. Turn out my new handlebar. Stoked to ride my dirty Dan. <laughs> this will be cool. It'll be fun. Good to go. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh man, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Can't even go at all, come on. Here we go, here we go. Whew. Let's get some speed. Oh, exactly, yeah, give me a break. Oh, no. Okay, back on the bike. Squeakiest brakes ever, huh? Woo. All right. Come on, all these trees are falling down. This is nuts. Ah, yes, yes, here we go. Ah, oh, crap. Dude, I don't know. Cause this was, this is like a drop. Oh, <laughs> and you're just gonna crash in the tree. Oh. You can't turn. Yeah, oh my goodness. See, I need spikes on for this. Yeah. And there's all these trees that are down. That's no fun. Yeah, better was like way better. But I think it had like less snow though for sure. Look at the lookout. Oh, yeah. I had also recently bought a new Schwalbe Dirty Dan tire and I put it on the front. It's a mud tire with bigger knobs than you'd normally find on any other tires. So it looks really aggressive, really gnarly, and I think it looks absolutely awesome. I'm just using it for the winter time. I was kind of hoping that this tire could help a lot with the snow, but ultimately it was just too much snow and we were deciding spike tires really were the best way to go. Let's uh, do some DH. All right. Pin it. Woo! <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, doesn't work. It does not work. Dude, I could not turn. My front tire just slipped way out. So it went straight into the tree. Oh, this does not work. Oh. Yeah, I do. Absolutely do. Here we go. Woo. Oh, okay. All right. Come on. Let's go. Pedal, pedal, pedal. 
I believe the key to riding in these conditions are having spiked tires. Or I also hear that fat bikes can also work quite well too, but I'm thinking that spiked tires may still be better. My friend Ben made some of his own spiked tires, but he can no longer use them since he no longer has a 26 inch bike. So he just gave them to me. This is what it looks like up close. You just put a bunch of screws through the knobs, so obviously I got these spike tires after I went riding. So I'm hoping that it might get snowy enough again that I could make use of these spike tires. But honestly, it doesn't snow a ton where I live, so I can't guarantee anything. Crap, crap, crap. Oh, man, everything is just toppled over. All right. All right, there we go. Some downhill, there we go. And trees are falling over again. Now we're getting to the fun Burmy section. Oh. Oh. Come on. Come on. This is way worse than I thought it would have been. It's pretty bad. Oh, okay. Give me a break. Give me a break. It's just getting fun. Are your brakes not squeaking like mine? No. Man, that's good. You want to lead? I can lead. Sure. Go for it. <laughs> yeah, no chance hitting the jumps. Alright, this is packed a bit better. Oh, oh yeah, my first air. Sick dude. This lower part's better, at least. All right, get some more air time. Sick! Woo! All right, that was better. The bite me was the best part. That was pretty solid. Cause it's so like packed down. So it's feeling pretty good with my tire. Yeah. It just needed to be like packed like this in order to even like notice anything. Yeah. All right. Woo. Woo. There we go. Do you take your bike apart or just throw stuff in like that? I just stuff it in. That's good. Sweet. Chill, man. Good riding. Good ride. Thank you for watching. I want to give a special thanks to my Boostmaster patrons. If you love downhill and free ride or just love riding mountain bikes, then consider subscribing. And if you like to see more content and keep me rolling on two wheels, then check out my Patreon page.